Okay, good day everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you set up your your school on the system. So again, you log in with the details I sent in the email to you. So I'm going to log in with this with the demo school. Password. Again, choose school administrator. Select your school login all right so the first thing you'd have to do is add your staff members to the system so you go into the add edit staff info option all right now when you go here you will not see any names on the right hand side it'll be blank so what you have to do is enter the first name of a staff member last name put in their rank all right and display and report leave this as yes all right the email address of the staff member and password if you wish to allow your staff members the the capability of they logging in to check the information so you can fill this out um, at this stage or you can fill it in later right now for the email address it doesn't have to be their actual email address it could be um, but really this is just used to log into the system so you can make up an email address for example use their first name put at and you can use the website name erpstt.com and just issue them a temporary password which they could change when they log in all right and you click add stuff and you notice that the name that i entered gets inserted at the bottom of the listing here now some schools have their the monthly reports done in alphabetic order and some schools have it by seniority so I recommend that you enter the names in the order you wish it to be displayed on that monthly school report that, that, that the teacher has signed right now you can move around names on the report so say for example you wish to move Kevin Thomas um, position 18 to maybe between Mary and Julie position 1 and 2 what you'd have to do is um, move move Kevin to position maybe 1.5 a number between 1 and 2 so I'd go down to Kevin choose edit and change position to 1.5 click update and now you'd see him between right Mary and Julie now going back to the display and report option right um, if a teacher leaves your school right sometimes the ministry may still request from your school information about that teacher that's why I don't recommend you choose delete if they leave because this will delete all their information so what you can do is go to edit and choose display and report choose no so what this means is that it, it will still keep the teachers data on the system but when you print your monthly school report this person name will not show up on the report all right so in case the ministry requests information on a teacher you'd still have it stored on your system okay Update. right so once you have your staff members in you can go back and now you can set your cutoff times right now this these are the times from which minutes later um, are counted so for my school we use 810 so I'm going to change this to 810 for the for the morning and for the p.m. we use 12 30 all right so 
minutes late um, are counted from after these times update cutoff times good go back and now there's a feature here called fast track data now schools that are adopting the system during the year they probably would have existing data for january february march or whatever months you know has, has the lapse so instead of having to go through record sub data for the first month and going through each day and selecting the people who were absent and the people who were late what the fast track allows you to do is you choose in up to which month you have completed so far choose submit and it allows you to, to enter the broad forward data for sick occasional approve unapproved times late and minutes late for each person so this um allows you to get the system up and running quickly so you can start using it for perhaps April right and you can start recording your data and doing your reports alright so that's about it for the setup I'll log out